What's up you guys? Today I want to show you how to make one million dollar. Okay, that's not what I'm going to show you. But what I want to show you actually is um, how to make a content carousel. For the past uh, year or two, I would say that uh, the content carousel has become extremely popular, especially on Instagram and LinkedIn. And I want to show you how you can make one using a free tool called Canva and a free app on your phone that I'm going to show you at the end of this video. So, without the further ado, I'm going to jump in and show you how to do it. But, 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 there's one more thing that I want to tell you. Apparently, there's a rumor going around that if you don't like this video, you're probably never going to get a puppy in your life. Don't you want to have a puppy? I think everyone wants to have a puppy, right? So, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and you might get a puppy. So to make the Canva carousel, you need to create the custom template. So you're going to go here where it says custom dimensions. And I want to make a five slide carousel. So uh, each slide is 1000 pixel width and 1000 pixel height. So I'm going to type in 5000 for five, uh, uh, five slides and then height 1000. And I'm going to click create. And this is what we're going to see. Uh, template that looks like this. Now, what we need to do is we need to divide the templates into five different slides. And recently, Canva added this real cool feature. Uh, so if you click on file right here, and then you click on show rules, rulers, sorry, sorry, I will open up this menu uh, that shows you, you know, uh, like the pixels can divide them into five different sections and that's what I'm going to do right now. So in order to do that, uh, you're going to go here and just like drag it and try to aim for a thousand. Uh, sometimes it's like really hard to aim for the perfect thing. So you can zoom in um, to see closer and then make it, you know, uh, adjust it to the 1000 size. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, to zoom in, uh, you're going to hold control or the command on, on the Mac and then um, I just use my mouse like circle thing to zoom in or you can do it by clicking here and you know just uh, pick the percentage you want to zoom in so let's try 1 1.5 uh, here we are so you guys see like I got thousand and six instead of the thousand. So I'm gonna move my um, my ruler a little bit. All right, perfect. Now I got I got my uh, one one slide ready. Now I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm dragging this. I'm trying to catch two thousand. Not perfect, but like I can zoom in, right? Come back here and move it back. Here we go. And I'm going to repeat the process. So here is another one. So I speed up the video of cutting the last piece, but you get the idea. Now let's get back back uh, to the main topic. Uh, so <laughs> you can see that I have, uh, you know, uh, five different sections, one, two, three, four, and five. So these are my five slides that I'm going to use on the Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever you want to put the carousel in. This is going to be my first slide and then the second, third, fourth and fifth. And um, usually what I do, uh, the first slide is, is like a title slide. So it has like the main message. I have an idea. So uh, I'm going to make my slide about me <laughs> and I'm going to say why, why you should follow Patrick on social media boom I think it's a great topic I mean I'm talking about myself it can be better right <laughs> anyway uh, so imagine that like this whole slideshow is like a story that you're trying to tell right and that's what I'm trying to do so the first slide which is this one is gonna be like a topic like a headline uh, and this is going to be my headline, why you should follow me on, on social media. Uh, and then the rest of the topics are pretty much like 
the second slide and the third slide and the fourth slide they're gonna be you know giving you reasons like why should follow me or something like that and the fifth slide is gonna be like a call to action saying like follow me here here are my social media here's that can you can find me here's where you can click like or something like that so what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm going to design the first slide, right? So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go back here. Actually, I need to make this smaller a little bit. So I'm going to zoom out. Oops, not this one. It's 25. Here we go. So when you click on the text, it will give you like a basic editor to like, you know, change your fonts, change, you can change the color of the fonts, uh, you can change the alignment. So I actually wanna align everything to the left, just like like, like here, this is good. Um, I wanna make this smaller, but wider, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit bigger like this. Okay, um, I wanna change the font to something else. I'm gonna use this one, Anton, yeah. This one is good. Uh, what? Whoops. No, I don't want to touch that. Um, I'm actually making bigger like this. Okay. So I want to have space right here. Then I'm going to put my object, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh, and I also, what I want to do, I want to change the background of everything to black. So I'm going to click. So I'll just click on the empty space. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click black. I'm going to click back on my letters and I'm going to change it to white. All right. Now uh, I'm going to upload my picture because it's about me. So um, to do that, uh, it's very easy to upload like custom files into Canva. All you have to do is click upload right here. You have to click on upload an image or video. You can upload videos too. Look at that guy. So handsome. So handsome and voila my picture is there now drop it right and um it's cool like it's my image and it's me but um what this is missing is like i want to remove this whole background so canva has this really cool feature that allows you to remove uh, background from the objects i just want to have me so if you click on, on your image, right? You select the image and then you click on effects right here. And then you click on background remover. This will like remove the whole thing. Boom. Super easy. And then I just uh, drag it in between like the different slides. And voila, this looks cool and all, but like, I want to add some like spices, you know what I mean? Like, I want to add some like cool, like colors and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller and uh, I'm going to go to elements and let's see what they have and play with something. So uh, I have these, I recently used them and I think I'm going to reuse them again as a like cool color that I can use. I'm going to just like splash them everywhere. So maybe what I do with this one, let me see. Uh, let's see if I can make it move to the bag. All right, that looks cool. Um, and I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna drag it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move myself first. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Let's say like this. Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna move to the second slide. So in the second slide, I'm gonna put on the reasons. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it. And I'm gonna put why you should follow me. Well, first reason, uh, I mean, it's so true, man. I can't even, <laughs> I'm not lying, you know. Ladies love me, what can I say? That's gonna be one of the reasons, right? Uh, so the second slide is going to be about that. And maybe let's find like a pretty girl or something. So I'm going to go to photos and I'm going to type in, I'm going to find a picture of like a hot girl. So I'm going to type in hot girl and I'm just going to pick one of them. Let's try this one right here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click effects 
and I'm going to remove the background again. All right, so I have my background removed. I'm going to put it right here. Let me make it bigger. Now I'm going to go to my second slide, and I'm going to give them another reason. And I'm going to put, uh, guys, whoops, guys love him. I mean, everyone loves me, man. Everyone loves me. <laughs> so I don't discriminate, you know. I'm going to go and type in hot guy. And let's just pick this guy. I mean, he looks handsome, I guess, right? So we got another slide done. One more. And you know what? And on, on the last one, I mean, on the last reason why you should follow me, I'm just going to put uh, everyone, just like I said before. So everyone loves him. Let's do everyone loves Pat. Love. Guys love Patrick, ladies love Patrick, everyone loves Patrick. All right, let's, yeah, that looks good. So now I'm gonna type in people. All right, and this actually looks kind of cool. Let's see if I can work with this. Uh, potentially, let's see. Yeesh. Yeah, that's fine. We can leave it like this. And the last slide is going to be the call to action. So basically, copy paste again, and I'm going to type in follow Patrick on social media. And I'm going to center this out like this, right? Perfect. I'm going to add some social media icons. So you can find them by going to elements and then you just type in social media icons like this right and i just use like facebook so facebook i'm just gonna do facebook instagram instagram so in the last slide the point of the last slide is basically like what do you what is this whole site is about like what do you want to get from it you know that's what it's called like a call to action slide uh, in this case, I just want people to start following me. Uh, it's like a silly campaign. It's not a real campaign. I would obviously not post this in, in like real life, but you know, this is just an example. They can find me at Patrick Marketer on Facebook and Instagram. And also what is cool, what you can also do is put like an arrow. I'll show you. So like, let's, is this arrow is going to work? It might, let, let's see, it might work. Uh, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to flip it, whoops, like this, right? I'm going to put it here because usually under right here, if you post it on an Instagram, this is where they, the hard button is going to be click here to like, and, uh, Let's see. Okay, I think we're done here. This is what it looks like. I have my five slides ready. And now I'm going to show you how we can upload it to the Instagram. So the last step was going to require from you to download the Canva app on your phone. And then you're going to go to it. And then you're going to look for your template that you just designed. So I have mine uh, one right here on the top. So I click on it. And what I want to do here is you just want to download it to your phone. Now, when your download is ready, you're going to access another app called Unsquared. Now, Unsquared is an app that's only available on uh, Apple devices. So if you're uh, Android users, I'm going to attach a link to under this video that will uh, allow you to download something similar to this app. What this app does is basically dividing your template into five different uh, slideshows that you can upload to the Instagram. And finally, the last, last, last step is going to the Instagram and post your carousel. You're done. You just created your first carousel.